God, God of Israel, the Most High God, today in this place, we lift our hearts and our hands to you. For the Spirit of the Lord says these things to me. And he says these things on this stage. Woe unto those who would attempt to attack Israel. Woe unto those who would come against my land. Who would come against my land? You have come against my hand when you do these things. For I have told the ocean's tides, don't come any further than this. Back up. For the Lord says these things, I am telling the nations of the world. Back up. Back up and woe be to the Bidons. To the Bidon administration. Do not seek to harm Israel. Do not seek to undermine my nation of Israel. For you have never seen God fight. For God will fight. You have never seen it because my mercy rests over this nation. And my mercy rests over my Israel. But should you attempt to subvert these things and attack Israel, I will be drawn onto the battlefield. And when I'm drawn onto the battlefield, watch the weather. It will go crazy. It will go crazy for they will say, our God is on the scene. Our God is on the battlefield. Our God is here for I can send things and do things to change minds. The Lord says, change yours on purpose, lest it be changed for you, for my purpose. Oh, such words. Yes, such times. Oh, such words. Yes, such wicked leaders around the world. Oh, such words. Yes, and more to come. For the words of God are being raised up in the mouths of children, teenagers, adults, all around the world. For the elderly are prophesying just before they die. They are prophesying and leaving their voices in the wind. They're leaving their voices in the wind and it will stay here to begin again. For this is the thing that I do, says the Lord. On the great ocean and the journey of life, it is only meant to be navigated by the prophetic and the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. For I am watching closely Ukraine. I am watching closely decisions being made. Decisions of neglect and decisions to neglect my people. To claim the helping of other people that never see the help. For I am watching this closely, says the law. Mark it down. Mark it down. For when the results come public, you will know that I, the Lord, have said these things. You will know, but will you listen? Nay, nay. For you continue to employ witches and the occult. And you, like Saul, are seeking out indoor witches. You're going to them trying to conjure the dead. Well, there is someone who rose from the dead you need to know. And he is the only one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, off we go, lifting our sails high in the wind. Oh, off we go to begin again. I will let you begin again at the beginning and the end.
Do you know where the wind comes from? His answer would have been nay. Do you know where it's going? Again, nay. But that are, these are those who are born of the Spirit. And you can prophesy into that wind. And whether you're a prophet that is known or not known, you are provoked to prophesy by the Most High. You are prompted to prophesy by the Most High because your voice enters the wind and one after another, after another, after another, after another. And as it moves from the beginning of the wind to the end of the wind, it comes back up the stream again until it's filled with prophetic words and it's filled with sound and it's filled with words that can turn a nation, that can turn a world, that can turn hearts of men, that can turn disaster into good. It can turn everything things says the Lord so prophesy 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 come on prophesy hallelujah God come on we'll thank our God It'll never again, says the Lord, be church services as usual. For as usual fell into a religious tank. And it fell into a pool that was stagnant. And it could not come to the surface. Nor could it swim out. Never again will it be the same. Never again. Hallelujah. Be ready for different. Be ready for different. Play on the harp. Play on the harp, Dina. On the harp. David coming from En Gedi. Rising from the springs of the wild goats. David coming from En Gedi. Listen to the sounds that he wrote. Riding 
the songs of strategies, writing the songs of victories, writing the songs of prophecy, of times yet to come. Listen to the sound, listen to the sound, listen to the sound. to be wrote If there had been a David in En Gedi Masada would have never took place For David searched in the spirit for the victory place Yeah. Can you, can you, can you sing about your victories? Can you sing about your victories yet to come? Can you sing about your victory yet to come? Begin to sing in the spirit and the Lord will hear it and give you strategies of war. Begin to sing in the spirit, all of heaven will hear it. You begin to knock on the door of your victory. Oh, of your victories yet to come. Of your victory. Of your victories yet to come. Gino, one or two notes. Give me something. Yeah. Hear it? Come on. Hear it? As it approaches crisis mode. God arose from Teman. And he came to Moses at the Red Sea. 
and his fiery chariots and horses of fire rode down into the sea. And a blast from his nostrils parted the sea and froze the walls into ice. As you call to me, says the Lord, I will come to you. I will come to you. In a way. In a way. That don't seem nice. Nice, yes. To your enemies. But I'm in covenant to protect you. I'm in covenant with you to see to you that you have an expected end. I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to prosper you. Plans to give you a future and an expected end. Breathe deep of the air of your destiny. Breathe deep of the air of tomorrow. For tomorrow is here. For tomorrow has come. Where are we at? We're in a place in the spirit right now that not many see for long periods of time. We are in a place of the wind, a place of miracles to open the eyes of the blind. We are in a place of answers, a place where 11th hour decisions are made. We are in a place, says the Lord, that gives you just a taste of what it will be like when the dead come out of the grave. For I am stretching forth my finger to touch yours in a covenant relationship. that witches cannot understand. So reach up, says the Lord, and reach out and take hold of my mighty hand. And I will pull you up out of the mire where you're stuck and put you on a clean road to run again. This is your day, says the Lord. For what? To begin again. The heart. To begin again. The heart. Hear the wind. Blows across the Black Sea. Hear the wind as it blows through Russia. Hear the wind. Colliding with the wall of China. Chipping the Great Wall. Hear the wind. Chinese intercessors on their knees pray. Even now, says the Lord. Hear them in the wind. I am warning every nation, says the Lord God. Keep your hands off of Israel. Keep your hands off of Israel. Last warning. And I'm speaking to the leader of that Muslim nation that you keep talking against them. I have not said the nation because I protected your life. But I have appeared to you twice in the night 
And still, you listen to men and not me. Take heed, says the Lord. I will protect you. But the time of your decision is about run its course. Choose wise. For Israel is in my eyes. I light a fire in the Mideast, and it runs along the ground to burn. Already now it's kindled, says the Lord. And I'm telling you, nations to turn. Leave Abraham alone. is his to life. Listen close in the West Bank. As you fall on your own knife. There are too many souls seeking out witches. There are too many souls seeking out witches. God's coming up out of the ground. See them? Well, they've come to claim their own. The worms are moving. when they're finished, their food has arrived here. Too many souls Too many souls Too many souls Seeking out witches Too many souls with courage and 
strength. It's a people, oh God, of Abraham who do not want to sit on the bench. All around the world, they watch today. Look at the Lord. Look their way. Oh, God is our God, and there's no other like. He's our God, 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 and there's no other like Him. Come on and lift your hands and bless the Lord. We went somewhere today, we know not yet. Come on. Oh yeah, it's happening. with all of their might all around the world people using their voices to shout out in the night Jesus is Lord come on Jesus is Lord said Jesus is Lord Jesus is Lord yeah a question just to where you are today. <laughs> are you excited that he is alive and he's soon gonna be on his way? Where are you this morning? Can you shout with all your voice and your might? God's gonna talk to your lost loved ones all the way in the middle of the night. Jesus is Lord. Come on. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Today.
I dare you. Come on and shout. I dare you. Yeah, come on and dance. I dare you. Come on, lift your hands and praise. Like you don't care, yeah. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Today, today. Jesus is Lord. strings of your puppet and begin to expose you for what you have hidden behind the walls for I am coming to you to change your mind and give you one more chance I'm changing things around yeah. this world and I'm going to cause a revival to come forth upon the land and as the wind begins to blow and the storms begin to stir, I will do something within my people that will cause a different storm to take the land. I will cause a different type of flood to come from the north into the south. Yeah. And you will see my hand begin to work. You will see the miracles that people have talked about. You, have, you will see the understanding of what I'm doing through my word as you begin to come towards me I will rest my hand upon you and I will bring those things forward that you have desired for generations where are the miracles where is the healing where is the hand of God moving I'm saying to you in short moments I will come to you in bursts of my spirit and bring things forward that you have dreamed of. I will restore the riches to Zion. I will bring forth those things that you have desired in your belly. It will come forth out of you and through your hands you will begin to move in the ways that I have said that I will move. For the puppeteers, for the puppeteers, I am changing some things rapidly and I am exposing things within the next few months that will be so rapid that people will be in amazement of what I am doing. I will cause things to come forth in such a way that people will say, I've never seen it like that before. I was unaware of those things taking place. Yeah. Well, I am doing something that is deeper than human intelligence. I'm doing something deeper than computer intelligence. For I am doing things in the land. I am doing things in the earth that will change the results of what had been intended. I will bring forth those things that my people have cried for, for generations. For I'm about to show myself mighty yeah. on your behalf. Yeah. I'm doing things inside the house, doing things inside of your homes that will cause a rejoicing in your neighborhood. For I am coming to your neighborhood soon, and I will do things that will astound those that are around you. 
Well, I say that others, others have said there are other gods that are more important, that are more intelligent. But I say to you, you haven't seen what I have planned for my church, for my people. I will restore those things that have been removed. I will bring back the altars. And there will be a sanctioning that will take place, a restoring that will come forward that will be greater than the reports that you have heard of history past. For I am going to bring the latter rain and it shall rain and rain and rain and rain and rain till things are restored the way that I want them to be restored. Prophesies. You make an edit, a written word, and typed if you can get it into a computer program. But you cannot edit what comes out of a prophet's mouth. And even if you take the recording later and edit it, it don't change the fact that it went into the wind when it came out. And the streams of life are now being turned. Come on! Say, I can begin again. I can begin again. I can begin again. Today! Today! Come on! I can begin again. I can begin again. you hit that flow. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I hear the Lord say something. He said, I told you so. <laughs> He's talking to everyone listening. I told you so. You thought it was the end, but yet now we're back at the beginning. <laughs> now we're back at the beginning. He is the beginning and the end. So now we're back at the beginning. You know, I don't know if any of you heard what I said on, uh, on Steve Schultz's program the other day and what Austin and I was talking about on the 11th hour before that. It is time to take St. John chapter 1, verses 1 through 14. And start prophesying, declaring that into the void. Yeah. Start declaring it into the void. God prophesied light into the void. Yeah. And the darkness couldn't comprehend it. Couldn't hold it down and seize on it. 
And now it's time that we prophesy light. We prophesy St. John chapter 1, verses 1 through 14, into the void. And it says the darkness cannot comprehend it. Hallelujah. Now prophets not only bring a word from the Lord, but they bring a word for the people to say. So now start saying that. Go back and listen to what Garland prophesied. Say that. Start saying these things. But start prophesying St. John 1, verses 1 through 14. And say it on purpose. I speak this into the void. I speak this into the darkness that's shaping up around the world. And we win. Hallelujah. We win. Come on and give the Lord a shout. It's the time of the open door. It's the time of the open door. Walk on through. Come on and do it with the open door. Come on, walk on through it. Walk on through it. Come on and do it through the open door. It is. It's the time. Open door. It's the time of the open door. Walk on through it. Come on, come on and do it. Through the open door. Walk on through it. Come on, walk on. Coming up! <laughs> <laughs> 